Hey guys, Technoli here, and today we have that video you've been waiting for, how to change the serial numbers with open core so you can get iMessage and all those wonderful things to work. And we're gonna show you, this is a real quick video. So in the description below, you're gonna have a link to my website and you're gonna download this little package of files. We got Clover Configurator, we're just using that to um, access to the uh, EFI partitions and we have proper tree master and gen SM bios so first of all we need to get into our EFI on the hard drive so here's our hard drive I'm gonna mount the partition put in your password all right open it up and here it is Okay, so let's go over here to proper tree. Double click, double click on propertree.command. And this is where we're gonna open up our config.p list. Go file, open, then go here to your EFI, right here, OC, config.p list, and click open. Now let's just uh, minimize a bunch of these right here. So we'll just click, click, click until we get to platform info. Okay guys, so right here is our motherboard serial number, our system serial number, and our UUID. So let's simply go over here to the Gen CMOS, and let's double click on Gen SMBIOS, excuse me, dot command, and we're going to generate some new serial numbers with this cool little program. So press number three, and then it's asking you, what iMac do you have? Well, right here under your system product name, on this particular unit, I have an iMac Pro 1 comma 1. Hit enter. So here's our new serial numbers. The first one is the serial number, which is system serial number. So I'm going to grab it, copy it, and then double click here and then paste it in there. The next one, it's called a board serial, is the MLB. So we're going to copy this. And right here paste it in there, hit enter. And then the last one, UUID. We'll just grab it, copy it, double click, put it in here. That's it, it's done. So go up here and go file, save, all right? And that way, everything is saved into the uh, config.p list and you are ready after you restart your computer. None of these changes will take effect until you restart your computer. And that's as simple as it is on Open Core. Now I'm gonna show you how to do Clover. Okay guys, so this is that little Nook 8. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this on Clover. So we're gonna use Clover Configurator to mount our hard drive EFI partition. All right, open it up, there it is. Now, what we wanna do is double click, double click on Clover, right click on config.plist and open. Okay, this is so easy to do, it's pathetic. We go down here to SMBIOS and these are the numbers we wanna change, the board serial, the system serial and the UUID. We're gonna use the same little cool program to create our numbers. And we'll double click on that and press return. All right, and then number three to generate our numbers. Now, this is a Mac Mini 8 comma one. So I'm gonna type it in, Mac Mini 8 comma one, hit enter. There's our new numbers. 
So we'll just go ahead and copy them like we did before. Copy the serial. The serial goes here. And then the board number goes up here. Paste it in. And then UUID, this big one, copy, paste it into here. Okay, and we have to save. Click Save. That is it. Now, of course, this won't take effect until you restart your computer. You got to reboot. Okay, guys? That is it. That's how you change your serial numbers, your board number, your UUID number, so you can get everything to work. All right? Hope you like this one, guys. And uh, we got a lot of cool videos coming out while everybody's sitting at home not knowing what to do with this silly virus. I wish all of you good health, and we'll see you on the next video.